Avatar, The Way of Water has concluded its first week in the box office, and we're going to talk about those numbers here today and try to figure out where this movie might wind up after a tremendous first week closing down at nearly $700 million globally through its first seven days with some information just released from Deadline Magazine's Anthony DeHalessandro with the conclusion of the Thursday figures. Stay tuned. Let's get into it. Well, welcome back. Another great day here at Valiant Renegade. It's great to see all of you out there once again. And if you're like one of the many folks watching this video that have not yet subscribed to this channel, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, share this sucker out on the social medias. And of course, please do leave a comment below the video before you head out the door today. Avatar 2 or Avatar The Way of Water has stormed into the box office this week, bringing in nearly $700 million over its first seven days globally. Let's take a look at some of the fresh numbers. From the Deadline article moments ago from Anthony DeHalessandro, we're hearing that bad weather in the Midwest significantly impacted Thursday grosses with winter storm Elliott intensifying into a bomb cyclone. As of this morning, more than 1 million customers are without power across the country and around 4,000 flights canceled and wind chills in the negative 20 to 30 degree as the country gets hammered by severe weather conditions. Avatar The Way of Water was only up 1% from Wednesday's $14.5 million domestic haul for a week's total of $197.5 million at 4,202 theaters, 4% behind the first week of Top Gun Maverick, which was boosted by Memorial Day Monday. Now, that weather did play a factor for a decent bit of the week. I don't think just Thursday, but probably Wednesday a bit as well. But as we look at the numbers for Avatar 2 so far, last weekend's performance was lower than expected, initially projecting to come in somewhere in the high 100s, mid to high 100s, and where it actually landed was $134 million. Of course, that was bolstered by a very robust international market, which, unlike many films in 2022, included China. So let's take that into account as we look at the updated figures. Now, as you look at this screen, understand that the numbers have not yet updated the Thursday box office performance. It shows domestic totals at 183.049. The actual total now, as we said before, stands closer to 197 or 198, somewhere in that range. The international box office also has not been updated yet for Thursday figures. We're still waiting on that. But given the day-to-day -day performance seems pretty consistent that the global haul for Avatar The Way of Water during this week was somewhere around 55 $5 million each weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and presumably Thursday as well. If we scroll down, we'll see the box office here, how it's legged out from its starting position at 134.1. It now stands at 197.5 or so. We'll get those final figures here in the next 24 hours. And as we would hope for a movie like this, especially a movie that needs a haul, as big as it does, that this movie will hit its 2x set of legs by the end of this weekend in the domestic market, meaning that as it started with $134 million, one would hope that it closes the weekend out somewhere in the mid to high 260s, two times what it had at the end of the first weekend. Now, if we do a comparison between the first Avatar and the new Avatar 2, The Way of Water, let's see how these movies are stacking up thus far. If we scroll down and look here at the daily box office performance, we can see that certainly Avatar The Way of Water vastly outstripped that of the first film back in 2009, 134 million to 77 million. But this is where I got concerned earlier this week, and I had a conversation with WDW Pro, who is a frequent co-host of the show on the uh, live shows on Sunday, talking about where I was getting a little bit tepid on how this would leg out. And that is, as you can see on the first Monday, Avatar in 2009 straight up outgrossed Avatar The Way of Water 
on that same first Monday. Now, these films being 13 years apart have drastically different average ticket prices. The average ticket price for The Way of Water significantly higher, as best we can tell at this point, somewhere to the tune of about 70% higher average ticket prices than the 2009 film. Those figures should not be that close. Again, if we look at Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on opening weekends, we can see how much more the new Avatar film grossed versus the old Avatar film with those much higher ticket prices, 50% or so higher on Sunday, about 60 to 70% higher or more on Saturday, and on Friday, of course, a much bigger, almost a two times higher gross, but that would have included Thursday previews, which back in 2009, Thursday previews were not near what they are today. But if we continue forward, we see that first Tuesday, the discount Tuesday bump, again, something that wasn't as big back in 2009 as it is today. But then Wednesday came in $2 million short of the 2009 Avatar. The Way of Water came in at $14.4 million, whereas the first Avatar film was $16.4 million. And again, I want to remind folks that these are unadjusted numbers. These are simply raw dollars. These are not taking into account that massive ticket price inflation. So for Avatar The Way of Water to be performing at or below the 2009 film should give everyone a little cause for concern. But at the same time, let's compare it to some other more recent films to see if we can get a better feel for where this is going. Now for that comparison, we're going to add two more films. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and more recently, Top Gun Maverick, which I think is going to be a very healthy comparison for how Avatar The Way of Water is going to leg out. If we look here at the dailies on these, Rogue One finished its opening weekend with $155 million in the tank compared to Avatar's $134. Top Gun Maverick concluded with $126. But look at the massive first Monday for Top Gun Maverick. Now, as a reminder, that was a big federal holiday. That was Memorial Day Monday. That is something that the other films were not able to enjoy. All three of these other films came out over the Christmas frame, meaning they debuted the weekend before Christmas and then went from there over the holidays. But if we go down into the first Tuesday, the first Wednesday, and then the first Thursday, which we now know is about the same as the first Wednesday at $14.5 million for Avatar The Way of Water, we get a pretty good feel of where this is going. With Avatar The Way of Water's domestic haul now standing at about $197.5 million, look how comparable that is to Top Gun Maverick's 205.6. Yes, it's behind, but it's only behind by, as Anthony DeHalessandro pointed out, about 4%. Not too shabby. So what we need to see at this point is for Avatar The Way of Water to continue to leg out in similar fashion to Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick has basically concluded its theatrical run, and that leg out was north of a 5X, a tremendous leg out, especially for a film that started with almost $126 million or so in the tank on its opening weekend. It looks like Avatar The Way of Water is going to perform in similar fashion, or at least far more akin to Top Gun Maverick than, say, a Marvel Phase 4 film, which tends to have massive opening weekends and then effectively hit the wall, as it were, after the first four or five days of its release. Those films tend to leg out to around a 2 to 2.5x, two or somewhere in that range on its domestic run. But of note, Avatar The Way of Water, with already having 700 million or so, just shy of that, in the tank as of its first seven days, Wakanda Forever has about $790 million in the tank after a month. That means that Avatar is already vastly ahead of that MCU title, and it had a start that was roughly $45 to $50 million less on its opening weekend in the domestic box office than what Wakanda Forever got. Avatar, the first movie in 2009, was a much bigger international player than it was domestic, scoring around 700 million or so, 750 million in the domestic market, but almost 2 billion plus in the international realm. 
And not a whole bunch of that was from China. You had about two to 300 million of that was from China in 2009. And hopefully China will turn in another three to $400 million on this one as well. But so far, the Chinese box office is still standing at around 80 to 90 million at this point. We'll get more information on those international figures. But the rest of the international markets really are going to have to step up their game. Is Avatar The Way of Water actually going to reach the $2.9 billion height that the first Avatar movie did? At this point, it seems relatively unlikely. However, the key question is, will Avatar The Way of Water actually hit that roughly $2 billion mark that James Cameron alluded to in a recent article and interview with Variety magazine, stating that this film really needed to be one of the top three or four grossing movies of all time just to reach a break-even point. Now, why is that? Well, we've seen a variety of figures out there from different major trade magazines. I've seen figures ranging from $360 million all the way up to about $450 million. Now, why such a disparity in what the stated production budget for this movie? How can it be that wide? I suspect, and this is purely my opinion, that some of the information being leaked out may or may not be, depending who is getting the information, inclusive of some amortized startup cost. Remember, the original $1 billion for this film that was granted by Fox prior to the Disney purchase included about four sequels for this film. Now, some of that money would have to be allocated towards building the infrastructure that would be used on all of the sequels, the technology, the sets, so on and so forth. So maybe they spent $350 million actually shooting and completing Avatar The Way of Water. But in other cases, they may also be allocating an additional 80 or $90 million into this film for the startup cost to create the technical constructs that are going to be required to create all four of these films if they actually get through all four. Now, all of that being said, right now, the hopes would be that Avatar 2 or Avatar The Way of Water will cross the $1 billion threshold by the end of this second weekend globally. If not, it should hopefully be fairly close. I would expect if we get a 75 to $80 million second weekend for this film, or even as low as $65 million, that the rest of the world is going to step up with somewhere around two and a half times that much because that is what has been the case so far last weekend and through this week. That means that we should hopefully have somewhere in the range of another $250 million coming in for Avatar on this second weekend in total. That should get it very, very close to that mark of $1 billion, maybe around nine fifty at the end of the day. And that's a great start for any film. The question is, is there another $950 million to $1 billion in the tank after this second weekend to get it to that $2 billion threshold? Again, I hate to say it, it's a little too early to tell. This movie certainly does have better legs than the Marvel films, but it's going to have to have as good as or even possibly slightly better legs than Top Gun Maverick to do that. Now, even if the movie does manage to reach the heights of Top Gun Maverick, certainly it's going to do that in the international market. It's practically already there, and it probably will be ahead of Top Gun Maverick in the international market into next week. Monday or Tuesday, it will certainly be there by then, but that's also inclusive of China. So if the Avatar The Way of Water manages to pull off around $1.5 billion throughout the entire world without China, it would match Top Gun Maverick. If it then manages to pull in another three to $400 million from China in addition to that, basically taking its total global haul up in the range of Spider-Man No Way Home, we might have a recipe for success there, especially because there's going to be a lot of post-theatrical licensing out to third parties. I don't know if it's been confirmed yet, but I suspect that because this deal with Cameron and Lightstorm Entertainment on Avatar 2 was struck prior to the Disney purchase, that it is unlikely, in in my mind, that this movie is simply going to get slapped onto Disney Plus after 60 days or so. I think this movie is probably going to get farmed out 
perhaps uh, to other third party licensees. And if it does wind up on Disney Plus, that means that Disney Plus is going to have to stroke a big fat check to James Cameron. We're talking hundreds of millions of dollars in addition to what they have already spent producing and marketing this film. Stay tuned. We'll stay up to date with it and we'll keep you posted when we know more. Until next time, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell, share this sucker out on the social medias, and of course, do leave a comment before you head out the door today. Take care and Merry Christmas.